Hello! <laughs> hey everyone, so welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to carry on with the uh, the main section of the design. So we're going to carry on, like I said, with the, uh, the latest news. So I'm going to create, in fact I'm going to duplicate this desktop folder. So it's now giving me a copy and I'm just going to move it down. And then just shift it over to the left. And this is going to form um, the start of the latest news section. So that's in position there. So I'm just going to zoom in a tad. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to change this. I'm just going to call this latest news. Uh, and then I'm going to remove this icon because we don't want that one. Just create a new layer. And I'm going to open up the actual icon that we need in the assets folder. So the icon that I need is da -da 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 -da. it's somewhere here. I uh, can't find it. It's probably staring me in the face. It'll be in here. So latest news. So I'm going to do Control A, Control C to copy that straight out, and I'm just going to paste that in position, nudge it up, and then just decrease the size, Control and T. So that looks good to me. Click on this T for the text tool. I'm going to call this uh, latest news. Just nudge that over. So if I just zoom out a tad so we can see the actual design. So this I'm going to delete because I don't want that. And I don't want all these links. So I'm just going to remove all of these. So we're pretty much just left with the latest news and the icon. I'm just going to bring the icon down a tiny amount and then just nudge that up next to it so if I just zoom out so the we need to add in our first article so in here inside of the latest news group I'm going to create another group and I'm going to call this um, iMac article Drop that down there, and I'm going to create a, a layer inside of that, and then I'm going to duplicate the news uh, text, and I'm just going to drag it down into the uh, iMac article. Just nudge that down, nudge it across, and we just need to change some of the properties for this now. So the size we're going to bring down to about 18, so it's a bit smaller uh, than the main uh, title here. I'm also going to change what it actually says as well. So we're going to put in 27 inch iMac i7 benchmarks. And again, that's going to be the Ala font. But what we're going to do, we're going to change the color so it's a bit lighter than the color above. So we'll bring that to like a nice gray sort of color. Like that. And then the final thing we're going to do, we're going to change it from a la bold to a la regular, like that. And if we just zoom in just to see what that looks like. So the next thing we need to do, we need to add some text below it. So I'm just going to grab this and duplicate it again. Just nudge it down and we can change the properties of this one. So I'm going to put here, um, posted by, and I'm just going to put Matt. Uh, just put any old random date like that and select that and I'm just going to basically decrease that down to about 14 and I'm going to make that a lighter colour also so the colour is uh, 877373 and then we're just going to highlight the actual name here and I'm going to change this to the sort of blue color we've been using throughout the uh, the design like that and save that and now the next thing we need to do is add in the image um, in fact one thing we will do before we do that the benchmarks thing here that's probably a bit too light so I'm just going to make that a bit darker So the colour I'm going to use is 110E0E, 
and that just makes it a bit darker now. So the so this one stands out more as the title. Um, and so like I said, the next thing we need to do now is add in the image. So I'm just going to create a layer. So I'm just going to open up the uh, image in my assets folder, which is this one here, the IMAX one, and open that. And then do Control A, Control C, and then I'm going to paste that onto the layer, and then just drag it down into position, just underneath the text like that. So you can see that's coming together quite nicely now. The next thing we need to do is just add in some lorem ipsum text. So I'm just going to create a new layer. And then I'm just going to grab the text tool and then I'm just going to create a selection like that. And I'm just going to paste in some lorem ipsum text. Uh, you probably can't see that because it's all white at the moment. So I'm going to select it all. Uh, just zoom in a tiny amount. And I'm going to oh, go out a bit more. And then I'm going to change that to a sort of grey colour like that. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to find out the colour of this text so it all matches up. And the colour for this is this colour here. So I'm just going to copy that. And select this text. Give it the same colour. You want to be consistent throughout the whole design. And we want to change the font to Arial. If I could spell Arial. So Arial. Uh, we want to bring the size down to probably about 13 pixels and it's going to be regular. Okay, so now that's in place. Next thing we need to do is just add a link uh, to a, like a read more sort of link. So to do that, we're going to create another layer, grab our text tool. In fact, before we do that, we need to grab the blue color. So I'm just going to sample. In fact, if I go onto this link here, just select it and grab the actual colour, which is that. And while we're at it, I'll check this isn't the right colour, this blue one here, so I'm going to change this. So I'm just going to select it and then actually paste the colour in here. There you go, that's better. That stands out a bit more now. So like the final thing to do is just add in the read more. So read more and I think we had two yep so I want two select all that give it the color and again this is going to be aerial and then just nudge it over a bit so as you can see we've got all of the article in between this guide and this guide and then we've got the sort of margin here and then the um, trending topics will go on this side. So now that we've got this article in place, if I just remove the guides, and what we can do now, because we've created a folder for the iMac article, so if we, we can hide it and do what we want, I'm going to copy this like that, and then I'm going to call the copy uh, We You. Zoom out a little. And I'm just going to nudge that down. This is the beauty of using groups. is It's just so easy to do the, these types of things. and uh, Because I've already made it once. There's no need for me to go through all that again. So zoom in. So all I'm going to do is change the title. So we, you, will not play Blu-ray or DVD. And now all I need to do is get rid of this, go to my assets folder, uh, find the Wii U, which is here. Control A, Control C, paste that in, drag it down like that. And we'll probably have to mess about with the spacing, so we need to nudge this up like that. And then the read more, again move that one up. So that's that one done. Uh, then the next one, again, just going to copy and duplicate uh, Sony 3D TV. And we're running out of canvas space. So what I need to do is extend the canvas. I'm going to do image, canvas size. And I'm going to pin it up here the, with the top arrow. So now it's going to extend below. So the height 
we'll change that to 2400 and click on OK. And as you can see now I've got more space so I'm going to nudge the 3D TV article down like that and again same principle select all Sony's new 3D TV review again save that, you need to delete the image assets folder and we should have a tele, there it is and that's massive so control A, control C paste that in so you need to do control T and then just bring that down in size and then position it underneath like that, so I'm just going to zoom in and just come down a tad and then I'm just going to knock the text down into place and then the final thing to do is knock the read more down like that, the telly is probably a bit too big still so we'll decrease the size a tiny amount and just nudge it up nudge the text up and then the final thing is the read more and we're good to go so I'm going to just minimize the layers and zoom out so as you can see in just 13 minutes we've been able to create all of the latest news section by first of all creating the first one and then all you have to do then is duplicate it because it's in a group and then just change the things that are unique to the other posts so that's pretty much that section complete now the next video we will start on the trending topics and then after that we'll do the footer then once that's complete we'll go through and just tweak a few things because obviously I only get 15 minutes per video and um, so I can't get really fine grained detail on every single portion so that's basically it for this video so as usual guys thanks for watching please leave any comments below feel free to subscribe don't forget to click the annotation in the top right for the next video and I'll see you later